what is the primary function of the ovaries? Your options are implant the fertilized egg, produce eggs and hormones, support fetal development, and regulate menstruation. The correct answer is B that is to produce eggs and hormones. The ovaries are responsible for producing eggs and secreting hormones like estrogen and progesterone. Question number 52. What does the luteinizing hormone LH trigger in the menstrual cycle? Your options are menstruation, ovulation, follicle development or endometrial thickening. The correct answer is B that is ovulation. Luteinizing hormone LH triggers the release of a mature egg from the ovary, a process known as ovulation. Question number 53. What structure connects the uterus to the vagina? Two options are cervix, fallopian tube, ovary or perineum. The correct answer is A that is cervix. The cervix is the lower narrow part of the uterus that forms a canal connecting to the vagina. Question number 54. What is the role of the uterosacral ligaments? Show options are anchor the uterus to the sacrum, support the ovaries, prevent the uterus from tipping forward, or connect the uterus to the fallopian tubes. The correct answer is A that is anchor the uterus to the sacrum. The uterosacral ligaments provide posterior support by anchoring the uterus to the sacrum. Question number 55. Which part of the uterus changes the most during pregnancy? Two options are Cervix, myometrium, fundus, or endometrium. The correct answer is D, that is endometrium. The endometrium thickens significantly to support the implantation and growth of the fetus. Hello, friends, welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today, you are attending 100 most repeated and most important question answer session based on female reproductive system. This is the part 3 of this series and wow. I am sure that you do not want to miss the previous two parts which are very important for your upcoming exams which are definitely going to challenge you. The link of those videos given in descriptions. So let's challenge your quality of learning. Let's see what will be your score out of 50 from this part 1. At the end, if you find this video helpful, then please do like, subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams. Let's continue. Question number 56. Which hormone dominates during the follicular phase of the menstrual cycle? Your options are progesterone, estrogen, LH or oxytocin. The correct answer is B that is estrogen. Estrogen levels rise during the follicular phase, promoting 
follicle growth and endometrial thickening. Question number 57. Which layer of the uterus is shed during menstruation? Two options are myometrium, endometrium, perimetrium or epimetrium. The correct answer is B that is endometrium. The functional layer of the endometrium is shed during menstruation if fertilization does not occur. Question number 58. What is the outermost layer of the uterus called? Two options are endometrium, myometrium, perimetrium or ectometrium. The correct answer is C that is perimetrium. The perimetrium is the outermost layer of the uterus that provides structural support. Question number 59. What is the primary function of the Bardolin's gland? Two options are reduce milk, secrete lubrication for the vagina, protect the uterus or regulate menstrual flow. The correct answer is B that is secrete lubrication for the vagina. The Bardolin's glands are located near the vaginal opening and produce lubrication during sexual arousal. Question number 60. What term refers to the cessation of ovulation and menstruation? Two options are amenorrhea, menopause, dysmenorrhea or menorrhagia. The correct answer is B that is menopause. Menopause occurs when ovarian function declines, leading to the permanent cessation of menstruation and ovulation. Question number 61. What is the thickest layer of the uterine wall? Two options are perimetrium, endometrium, myometrium or submetrium. The correct answer is C that is myometrium. The myometrium is the thick muscular layer that facilitates uterine contraction during labor. Question number 62. Where does fertilization most commonly occur? Two options are ovary, fallopian tube, uterus or cervix. The correct answer is B that is fallopian tube. Fertilization typically takes place in the ampulla, the widest section of the fallopian tube. Question number 63. Which of the following structures stores and releases eggs? Two options are uterus, ovary, fallopian tube or cervix. The correct answer is B that is ovary. The ovary stores immature eggs and releases a mature egg during, during ovulation each menstrual cycle. Question number 64. What hormones is primarily responsible for maintaining pregnancy? Two options are estrogen, progesterone, 
एल एच और ऑक्सीटोसिन The correct answer is B. That is progesterone. Progesterone maintains the uterine lining and inhibits contraction to support the pregnancy. Question number sixty-five. What is the structure that serves as the birth canal during childbirth? Two options are cervix, uterus. फेलोपियन ट्यूब और वजाइना द करेक्ट आंसर इज डी दट इज वजाइना द वजाइना एक्ट एज द बर्थ कैनल अलाउविंग द बेबी टू पास थ्रू ड्यूरिंग डिलीवरी क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स वॉट इज द फंक्शनल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द वैरियन फॉलिकल्स शो ऑप्शन सा प्रोड्यूस एक्स एंड हार्मोन्स सपोर्ट यूटर एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ट्रिगर मैंस्ट्रुवेशन और प्रिवेंट इम्प्लांटेशन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए दिट इज टू प्रोड्यूस एक्स एंड हार्मोन्स Ovarian follicles nurture developing eggs and secretes hormones like estrogen and progesterone. Question number sixty-seven. What is the central cavity of the uterus called? Two options are uterine lumen, endometrial cavity. Uterine fundus or cervical canal. The correct answer is A. That is uterine lumen. The uterine lumen is the cavity within the uterus where the fertilized egg implants and develops. Question number sixty-eight. Which phase of the menstrual cycle occurs immediately after? ovulation Two options are menstrual phase follicular phase luteal phase or proliferative phase The correct answer is C that is luteal phase During the luteal phase the corpus luteum forms and secretes progesterone to prepare the uterus for implantation question number 69 what is the role of the fimbri in the female reproductive system two options are support uterine contractions capture the ovulated egg facilitate fertilization or reduce estrogen the correct answer is b that is to capture the ovulated egg the fimbri are finger like projections of the fallopian tube that guide the egg into the tube after ovulation Question number seventy. Which part of the reproductive system prevents infections in the uterus? Two options are cervix, endometrium, fallopian tube, or ovaries. The correct answer is A. That is cervix. The cervix produces mucus that acts as a barrier to infections and protects the uterine environment. Question number seventy-one. What is the corpus luteum? Two options are a fertilized egg, a temporary structure in the ovary. 
a layer of the uterus or a part of the fallopian tube? The correct answer is a temporary structure in the ovary option number B. The corpus luteum forms from the follicle after ovulation and secretes progesterone to maintain the uterine lining. Question number 72. What happens to the corpus luteum if fertilization does not occur? Two options are it enlarges, it degenerates into corpus albicans, it secretes more hormones, or it transforms into a new follicle. The correct answer is B that is, it degenerates into the corpus albicans. Without fertilization, the corpus luteum breaks down and forms a scar like structure called the corpus albicans. Question number 73. What is the primary function of the endometrium? Two options are reduce hormones, protect the ovaries, support implantation and fetal development, or release egg. The correct answer is support implantation and fetal development. The endometrium thickens to allow implantation of the fertilized egg and support pregnancy. Question number 74. What type of cells line the fallopian tubes? Two options are stratified squamous, ciliated columnar, cuboidal or transitional. The correct answer is B that is ciliated columnar. The ciliated columnar cells in the fallopian tubes help to move the egg toward the uterus. Question number 75. Which hormone is measured to confirm pregnancy? Two options are estrogen, progesterone, HCG, or LH. The correct answer is C that is HCG known as Schumann chorionic gonadotropin. HCG hormone is produced by the placenta after implantation and is detected in pregnancy test. Time is to comment your score out of 25 questions and friends thanks for joining us on this exciting journey if you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new then give us thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you